everybody we are asked to do or to find the lettered angles in the diagram below now we are asked to find angle a x b and c let's get into it okay first of all this particular question is under cyclic quadrilateral what is a cyclic chord a cyclic chord is what when you have a circle and you have what a quadrilateral that is a four-sided figure inscribed inside that circle that means that circle, that particular diagram, that is what I have that is a cyclic chord. And there are some theorems that are associated with this cyclic chord, okay? Then one of them is this. One of them is that the sum of opposite angles of a cyclic chord is 180 degrees. What it means that if you have A here and you have B here, it means that your A plus B is equal to what? 180 degrees. Okay, now let's relate this to what we have here. When you look at what we have here now, you are going to notice that this A we are looking for is opposite this 80 degrees, right? So it means that solution. So what it means that A, this A you have here, plus this 80 degrees is supposed to give you 180 degrees, okay? Based on what I told you, the reason what sum of what opposite angles sum of opposite angles of a cyclic chord of a cyclic chord all right that means our a is equal to 180 minus 80 which is what 100 degrees okay we have been able to find what our a to get the value for our a now if we use the same theorem we'll be able to get x because x is opposite what it is opposite this 60 okay so let's do the same x plus 60 this x plus this 60 it's supposed to give us what 180 degrees right the reason being the same thing sum of what opposite angles of a cyclic chord just write the same thing now we have got that means that our x is equal to 180 minus 60 which is equal to what 120 degrees Okay, we have gotten our x to be 120 degrees. We can now get our b, right? How can we get our b? You know, this is what we have here. We have something like this. This is our b degrees and this is our x. And we have found our x to be what? 120 degrees. If x is 120 degrees, we can comfortably get b because the sum of angle on a straight line is what? 180 degrees. So it means that this 120 plus b supposed to give us 180 degrees so we are going to do what we are going to use it to find the value of our our b so we are going to write that b plus x is equal to 180 degrees what sum of what angle on a straight on a straight line sum of angles on a straight line sum of angles on a straight line that is what i wrote inside the bracket all right we have gotten, we are looking for B plus, we have gotten our X to be what? 120 is equal to 180. It means that our B is 180 minus 120, which will give us 60 degrees. Okay? So, we have gotten everything. The only thing that is many now is this C. But before I continue, if you have watched this to this level, it means that you enjoy what I'm doing. Please click the subscription button so that you'll be seeing more of this, okay? And the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Alright, let us continue. We have gotten our B to be 60 degrees. Now, we are looking for C. C is the only one remaining. But I want you to look at this diagram I'm about to draw now. Just look at this. You know that if I remove this circle now, I will see a triangle. If I remove this circle and this center line, I will have a triangle. This triangle is what I'm going to have. Something like this. This is the C. This is 60. This is angle A degrees. That is without this and the circle. So it means that we can easily get our C, right? Because sum of angle in a triangle is 180. And we have gotten our A already to be 100. So if we have 100 here, and we have 60 here. We can easily get our C. Because sum of angle in a triangle is supposed to give us what? 180 degrees. So I can now write that this 60 here. 60 plus this A here. Plus this C here. Is equal to 180 degrees. Reason is what? Sum of angle in a triangle. 
sum of angle in a triangle. Just know that that is what I have inside that place. Mm. Sum of angles in a triangle. That is what is inside there. All right, we have 60 plus, what is our A? Our A is 100. 100 plus C that we are looking for is equal to 180 degrees. I think I cannot clean this diagram. It is of no use of anymore. All right, 60 plus 100 is going to give us 160. Plus C is equal to 180. Okay, that means our C is what? 180. This will cross over to become minus 160. Okay, so it means that C is equal to 180 minus 160. Their C is equal to 20 degrees. So we have gotten our A to be 100, our B to be 60, our C to be 20 degrees, and our X to be 120 degrees. Do have a lovely day and bye.